Hey everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make these simple sandals for a stuffed animal. There are so many different styles you can make, so let's get started! To get started, I'm using this little shoe pattern I made, and I'll have this linked in the description box, but I'd recommend just tracing your stuffed animal's foot to get this. This pattern I used actually ended up being a little too small for my stuffed animals, so don't be afraid to get this as close to your stuffed animal's foot size as possible. I'm first going to be tracing this on some thin cardboard, and I was originally planning on cutting out a bunch of these and just stacking them, but I soon realized I'd probably need about 10 of these to get the size I wanted, so I just switched over to some regular cardboard, the corrugated stuff, and since this is way thicker, I only needed two for each shoe, and that saved me a ton of time. I wanted my sandals to be about half an inch thick because I'm going to be wrapping around this kind of twine textured ribbon. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's about half an inch thick, so I want my shoe to be that tall. And this is just the style I'm going for. You can also just wrap it with any kind of string you want. Now I'm just gluing my pieces together, and you can also do whatever kind of thickness you want. You could do multiple layers of cardboard for more of a wedge look, or just one for a thinner sandal. But once the pieces were glued, I made sure to put something heavy on top. I'm using this rock my cousin painted a hot dog on. After doing the other one and letting this dry, I can move on to the kind of bands that go over the toes. I'm going back to the thin cardboard for this, and since I want two bands over the toes, I'm cutting out two long rectangles that are half an inch wide, and then I can just cut them in half to get two for each sandal. But I'm also going to do one more thinner strip to go around the back of the foot, but this is optional. I'm going to be using a paper cutter to get perfectly straight lines, but you can always just use scissors. Now I'm just cutting them to the size I pre-measured to go around my stuffed animal's foot. For me, that was 5 inches, but looking back, I should have made this way longer. So make sure when you're measuring this for your stuffed animal, you add an extra inch to account for where we're going to be gluing these in. For the thinner strip, I made mine 6 inches, which was plenty long for me. Now I mixed up some tan paint, and I'm just going to be painting all of these strips. You can do whatever color you want, but when I think of sandals, I think of this kind of tan leather color, so that's what I'm doing. This is where you can get really creative and make whatever style sandal you want. Instead of doing two thin bands, you could do one thick band and paint it whatever color you want. I was thinking of making something like this and making it pink. So you can really do whatever you want here, but I'm going with more of a beachy, neutral look, so that's why I'm just going with tan, and I'm making sure to paint both sides. After that, I'm going to lighten the tan a little and use this to paint the base of the sandals. You, of course, can paint this whatever color you want. After painting all of my pieces, I'm going to give these some time to dry. Once they're all dry, it is time to assemble. I'm going to curve my first strip a little and just position it where I want it. And once I see where I want to attach it, I'm going to use scissors to cut an opening kind of in the corrugated part of the cardboard. So if you think of cardboard having two layers with the zigzag part in the middle, I'm cutting through that zigzag part and pushing the strip through there to see if it fits. And then I can just bend it up and that will make the little fold where I need to glue this in. And after quickly trying this on, I realized this piece is already too short, so I made the end fold a little smaller. And now I can just add some glue to that opening I made, and then put the band inside, and you could also add a little glue up the sides if you have some room. And I had to hold this for about a minute just to make sure it was stuck in there, and then I did the same thing to the other side. I did that one more time for the other sandal, and since I needed this arch to be a little higher, I made sure to put the band in the top layer of cardboard and not the bottom one. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the second band, making sure to leave a little bit of a space between them. And when you're doing this part with the scissors, please be very careful and have them under control so you don't accidentally cut yourself. And keep in mind, this footage is very sped up, so do not go as fast as I just went. After gluing those in and letting them dry, I can move on to doing that to the other sandal. After that, I'm going to add the last strap to the back of the sandal. I'm first trying this on and then grabbing my last strap to just kind of see where I want it. And once I have an idea kind of the angle I wanted, I'm going to make a little fold, and this will be kind of diagonal, it won't be straight across. That way it will kind of stick out and go around the back of their foot. And after doing the same fold on the other side, I can remove this and just kind of make the holes like before. Then I can just glue them in like I've done before. And this strap is optional, but make sure you're not just randomly adding it. Make sure to check how it fits on your stuffed animal, or else it's just going to be sticking out for no reason. And now after that's dry, the last thing I'm going to do is wrap twine around the entire thing, and mine is already kind of in ribbon form. But you can just wrap around regular string, or maybe braid the string and then wrap it around. Or you could just wrap this with cardboard or paper if you just want a smooth look. And while I'm doing this, I'd just like to announce that starting next week on Mondays, I will be posting this little show my sister and I used to make called Ellie and Shelly. We started this about six years ago, and it definitely shows. You can definitely tell this was made by little kids. All I can say is the quality of video and the storylines are so bad, it's funny. 
but I do remember we worked so hard on them and we're so proud of them, so it would be a shame if no one got to see them. So if you want to check those out and follow the story, I'll be posting those on Mondays. Now back to the sandals. Once I've gotten to the back of the sandal and everything's covered, I can just cut off the end and glue it in place. After doing that to the other one, the sandals are done! Unfortunately, I feel like they look better off the stuffed animal than on because their fur kind of gets in the way of the design, but I definitely think it's one of the easier stuffed animal shoes to make, and you can be really creative with the design for this. I really hope you enjoyed this video and try these out. Make sure to give this video a like to help my channel grow, and make sure to comment any video suggestions down below. I will still be doing those requests every Friday, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you next time!